Me, 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 me. <coughs> All right. This right here. Hey guys, John there for Just My Tech, and in today's video, we're going to go over the review of the Zune Smooth Q Gimbal Stabilizer. So as I've been hinting on Instagram and on my Facebook page, I've been checking out the Zune Smooth Q Gimbal. Now this is their, I guess their uh, bargain or their uh, better valued uh, gimbal in their lineup. There you have other gimbals in their lineup, but this is the most affordable. It starts off at $139.99 and you can get it for roughly about $99 uh, around the holidays. So just check out on Amazon or Best Buy. I picked one up for $99 right around the holidays and I was really torn on what I wanted to get but at that price I really couldn't uh, avoid it. So here's what I, my review of the Zune Smooth Q. So one thing that you'll notice is that if, um, if you watch my video on the DJI Osmo Mobile is that the design is similar. It's not identical. Uh, you don't have the trigger function that the DJI Osmo has, but you do have the track ball or controller. One of the main things that you'll notice is that this is made out of plastic. Um, that's not to say that it's a bad thing, but it's to be noted, it is made of plastic. Uh, it doesn't have replaceable batteries. It has a larger, um, battery as well as uh, charges via micro USB not a propri 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 proprietary charging cord that the DJI Osmo mobile had uh, which if I didn't show it in my video was a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to a USB which is it's not rare but it's not common so one of the main things that I noticed right off the bat is that the setup clamp looks similar to the DJI Osmo Mobile but is not. Uh, the Zoom Smooth Q is a spring-loaded clamp, not a uh, wheel that adjusts. This wheel is meant to adjust if you want to go via landscape mode or if you want to go portrait mode, which I'll show you right here. Now there's click brackets. As soon as you do it, now you've got your phone in portrait mode. Now you probably ask yourself, why do you want to do that? Well, if you want to film for say Periscope or Instagram, somewhere where uh, four by three aspect ratio is more ideal. I would still go with a 16 by 9 ratio landscape, but hey, teach their own. So, just getting over the design, I like the design. It's got a nice heft, even though it is made of plastic, the uh, gimbal, 3X's gimbal arm is actually made of a uh, harder plastic, but I think it's anodized, so it gives you a plastic feel, but it's made of metal. Um, don't quote me on that. One of the main things that I did notice, 
right out of the bat, you should be able to fit something like an iPhone 8 or a Samsung Galaxy S8. But when it comes to a Samsung Note 8, that's where you're gonna have to adjust it. Now the beautiful thing about it is that this does adjust. So I'm gonna illustrate that for you. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna adjust it first. The only reason I'm adjusting it because I already know that I need to adjust it just for the fact that the Note 8 is so tall. So what you'll do, now this is a, it's not a tricky thing, but you do want to get used to putting your phone into the clamps because they've got to balance out. And you'll notice on the back where it's not balancing out. So I went ahead and I would just go ahead and adjust this so. And then slide your phone down. Now take some getting used to, but after that you should be all set. So you go ahead and press the power button, which is the red button, to turn it on. Wait till the yellow goes or orange goes solid, and you're good to go. And there you go. We're filming while filming. Now, it's gonna start off in the pan mode, there's a tilt mode, and there's a twist mode, or a uh, following mode. One of the funny things about it is that it doesn't directly say that there's a uh, vlogging mode, but I'm gonna call it a vlogging mode, just straight out. If you tap on the mode button three times, one, two, three, there you go. Now we're filming while filming. So, as you can see, it's a nice gimbal, flows, now this is set for panning. Now I'm gonna switch it back. One, two, three. So it's a very user-friendly gimbal, especially if you're starting out and you're just trying to make videos. I think it's a great buy uh, for the price. You really can't beat it. Um, in my experience, I've been using it for like Roughly about two weeks. This is an early Christmas gift that my wife gave to me. Um, you know, I couldn't really resist when it was on sale, so she said just grab it. Um, which was really nice because I got a chance to check it out. Um, it was either this or possibly going on to some other brands or stepping up in the Zune family to possibly like the Smooth 3, which is a more intensive uh, gimbal. But all the reviews, everybody reviewed the Smooth Q pretty highly. So I went with it. So far, I've liked it. I've really enjoyed it. You, you really see a difference in the clips that I'm going to show you where I'm just walking around. There's a big difference in how you record. When I did my side-by-side -side of a selfie stick and a gimbal, you can see the difference. But when you're just filming family events, running around with your kids, or just hanging out with your family, you can see the difference in video and just by showing this gimbal to others and how easy it was to use i possibly converted uh individuals into wanting a gimbal that didn't even know what a gimbal was prior to it and i think for 2018 gimbals are gonna be a norm uh, i i don't want to compare them to selfie sticks because selfie sticks had a very negative uh stigmatism attached to them but I think they're gonna gain popularity like a selfie stick, if that made any sense. So, I'd say if you're looking to get into cinematography, I mean, just, or you just wanna film nice videos with your family, a la the camcorder era, if you're in that stage with a family with kids, or you just wanna film nice videos, I would say grab a gimbal. And for the Zune Smooth Q, 
it's definitely worth the buy. Um, I personally own it, so I can vouch for it. And my videos and my channel are mainly focused on tech that you can afford that you can use with mobile. So that's uh, my take on the Zoom Smooth Q. This has been my take on the Zoom Smooth Q. As always, if you like the videos, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't like them, hit the dislike button. If you really liked them, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also, share the video. That way, people can see the videos that I'm making here. And if you like any of the music that's in the videos, go ahead, hit the links below and check out the featured artists. I'm gonna try and add more artists into these videos so that you can enjoy the music that I enjoy. As well as, also, go ahead, hit the link down below. I'll have a link to the Zune Smooth Q off of Amazon. That way, by clicking those links, their affiliate links, you can help the channel just by clicking and possibly purchasing a Zune Smooth Q or any accessory on Amazon. It really helps out the channel, helps us develop and create more videos. As always, I'm Jonathan Herr for Just My Tech, and I'll catch you in the next.